All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we all praise honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Karkodash, the Barnes, the Apostle, and those the great millstone teaching us, one percent the truth, according to the Bible, rule well, and peace and blessing. So, if like the nation of Israel, take their spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai, we're going to the Lord's rule and the final lesson on, um, you know, you know, there's so many um, things going on in the world right now. Especially it looks like, uh, you know, the spirit, you know, uh, these lockdowns about to uh, take place again. You know, that means uh, we're close to the end. You know, that means uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, him cracking those clouds and, um, you know, really taking this man out of power, you know, and establishing his kingdom, which is the kingdom of heaven, which is for the nation of Israel, starting with the remnant, starting with the you know the the uh, you know those who are standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh by Shemayashai right now. You know, and the Lord is about to show His power in the earth. You know, it's going to get some scriptures. You know, Lord's willing. Uh, this lesson is uh, comforting and edifying to the to the hopeful elect, the nation of Israel. This is a uh, Sirach two and. Six. It says, "Believe in Him. Believe in who? We must believe in the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, our Lord. You know, the ones who are going to uh, deliver us from the uh, from the counsel of the wicked. You know, which His counsel is for His new world order to be established and for the nation of Israel to be uh, uh, no more in the earth. You see, it says, believe in Him, and He will help thee." You know, and it's going to be made evidently clear who Yahweh by Shema Shai is dealing with when he uh, lifts up this standard against this uh, this this Edomite, you see? And he's going to help us during these times. He's going to uh, provide a way uh, for your food, for your families to uh, to have food. You know, that's a, that's an easy thing in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai. That's why, you know... I'm just going to quote. That's why Yahweh Shai said, Matthew, seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and all these things shall be added unto you. And he also said, Matthew 6, chapter, take no thought for your life, which ye shall eat, which ye shall drink, or wherewithal shall ye be clothed. You see, for all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. So the Most High. Through his only begotten son, they got us, you know, and that's what we have to believe. That's where your faith should already be, you know, and of course, the Lord is going to increase our faith because things are going to get, you know, inherently bad, you know, as we uh, get closer and closer to the end, you know, but this is what, uh, just as Yahweh Shai said, uh, this, this same hour, came I into the world you know we were born uh, for this very moment in history you know Lord's willing I say Lord's willing we're part of that number you know we are born for this you know ordained sanctified uh, from the beginning you see to uh, stand stiffly in these last days you know for the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai. It says, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way are right and trust in him. So now is the time more than ever. For now is our salvation nearer than will be believed. To cast not therefore your confidence away. You know, and Yahweh by Shema Shah, they have a high recompense of reward. You know, there's a reason why uh, the hell that Yahweh by Shema Shah is putting upon us has increased because... You know, uh, it's either going to make you or break you. You know, we're at the end of this thing. You see? You know, so remember that. Scripture say, watch you therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. That's what we've been doing. We've been standing upon our watch. And we've been praying to Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, Lord's willing. You know, that it is what it is. Lord's willing. The Lord uh, uh, account, uh, finds us worthy. You know, we know the Most High is faithful, so really it's on us, you know. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. So, us that fear Yahweh Shema Shai, 
supposed to wait for his mercy. And his mercy, you know, is coming. You know, especially when these uh, when these draconian laws increase. You see, you, you you fear the Lord. You know, they that fear the Lord are not gonna disobey His word. You see, so you wait for His mercy. You wait for the Lord to intervene. You wait for the Lord to rise up to the prey. And go not aside, lest ye fall. You see, you lean in upon, you trust in the Lord with all your mind. You see, which is all your heart. According to Proverbs 3rd chapter, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. You see, well, dang, you know, I haven't, got, I haven't eaten in a couple of days, so I'm going to go, you know, my, my woman, you know, the kids, they're hungry. You know, maybe I should just go and, um, you know, I should just go take the chip, you know, which, because that's ultimate what's coming. The chip is coming. You know, they're going to, throughout this, all this chaos, they're going to bring this order, um, this order, you see, order out of the KO, which is going to be the chip. The chip is going to solve all the Edomites' problems and those who, uh, wish to dwell in this world, you see. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, believe in Him, and your reward shall not fail. You know, so our reward isn't going to fail. And our reward, you know, for our labor, you see? Because we've been putting the work, you know, start with the apostles and elders, a great millstone where we had this grace period, you know, and our reward for putting in the work for committing righteous acts upon the earth, while the rest of the world was engulfed in darkness and wickedness, you know, there's a reward for those things. And our reward, you know, if we continue to endure, you know, and, um, you know, stand stiffly for the names of the Lord once again. Scripture say, fight the good, fight the faith, and to lay hold on eternal life, you know. You lay, you lay hold on eternal life, you got your hands on it, hold fast to it, don't let it go. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. So we fear Yahweh by Shema Shai. It's evidently clear, you know, that the sincere believers, you know, starting with the, you know, Apostle and others, the great Muslim, we fear the Lord. We've been doing everything the Lord have commanded us to do to the best of our ability. We've been bearing our cross as Yahweh Shai commanded us. And we've been going out there on the highways and byways. And pushing this word. That's why the scriptures say, Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh shall the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit of the spirit shall reap life everlasting. And in due season, which that due season is right around the corner, we shall reap if we faint not. You see? And as long as we are continue to be quickened in the in the spirit of our mind you know we're not gonna faint you know we're actually gonna get the victory Yahweh Shai said be of good cheer for I have overcome the world you know uh, let me cue up this Romans the eighth chapter you know this is a uh, Sirach you know it's fucking summertime and how the hell you know brothers are sick how, how are you sick during the summertime you know with all supposed to be life you know, spring it's supposed to be life. You know, it don't. It, it really makes no sense. You know, that's how you know this world is is fading away. You know, the this earth is dying. You know, but before, you know, I was watching the other Yashwan, but you know, your brothers got certain elders and apostles. They prefer to watch. You know, that just has to be uh, mine. You know, so you know, I was watching the other Yashwan. He said the Lord is gonna, the earth is gonna spew this man out before he allows himself to be destroyed you know and that's and that's true you know i'm pissed right now you know but you know i'm rejoicing in the spirit you know the lord about to come back and take this man out you know that's just the truth of the matter you know that's just what it is the god of the bible is not gonna let this dirty edomite win you see an, an evil man Scripture say, Knowest thou not this of old is man was placed upon the earth? That the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. You see? 
it also tells you uh -huh, isn't this crazy pride go before destruction and now after this month of pride you see destruction is about to follow you know call on me out by Shema Shai. it says and it reads ye that fear the Lord believe him and your reward shall not fail ye that fear the Lord hope for good and that's our expectation our expectation is good you know only good why? Because we fear Yah by Shema Shai, and we believe and we trust in these scriptures. We trust in what is written. You see, and for everlasting joy and mercy. That's what's on the. That's what's coming. And everlasting joy is mercy is coming. You know, in the via the kingdom of heaven. You know, and a if they went not through the narrow, how then shall they see the wide? You see, which the wide is the kingdom, the narrow. You know, we're true on that narrow path now, but it's, it's going to get even more narrow. It's going to get even more uh, tougher. But it, it ain't nothing, you know? The Most High is faithful will not uh, suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Verse 10, look at the generations of old and see. You know, so when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were tempted uh, to bow down to the image of Baal, you know, and denounce their gods... You see, and worship an idol, that temptation of them being cast into the fiery furnace, the Most High knew that when that temptation arose upon them, that they were going to be uh, able to endure uh, said temptation. You see, when Daniel was uh, told not to, uh, to, to, to worship Yahweh by Shema Washai, he continued to worship the Lord and was cast into the, the, the lion's den and the Lord delivered him. You know, and that's just that's just the uh that's just the facts of the situation. Yahweh by Shema Shah, he is the God of the earth, he is the king, you see? And what he says goes, you know. The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord, you know. As the rivers of war he turns it wheresoever he will. You know, and for this same purpose, has Yahweh Shema Shai raised up this Edomite? You know, scriptures say the Lord made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. You know, and the day of evil is approaching. You see, the day of evil when he's going to use Esau Edom for a whooping stick for the wicked. You see, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the righteous, lest the righteous put forth his hand. Towards iniquity, I believe that's Psalms 125, verse 3. It says, Look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and saveth, I'm sorry, and forgiveth sins. And save us in the time of affliction, you know. So the Lord is about to save us in these times of affliction, you know. And we keep reading. It says, "Woe!" It says, "Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands, and the sinner that goeth two ways. Woe to him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore, shall he not be defended? So, if you faint-hearted during these times, you know the Most High ain't gonna defend you. You know the Most High is actually offended at you being faint-hearted. You see, He's offended at you uh, uh, not believing in His power. You see, so we must believe. You know, we must continue to believe. You know, I'm gonna get uh, one more scripture. You know, I gotta go uh, clock in. You know, into this uh, plantation. You know, like to say another day, another dollar, you know, but this FRN though know, about the about the crash. You know, everything these people are working for is about to come to an end, you know, and, and that's that's the beauty of it, you know. I'm trying not to use rude speech. It ain't really my spirit anyway. You know, this is um we're gonna um you know, really, I mean, br brothers, you know, this is a uh, Romans eight and thirty one. You know, I got time. Fuck it. It says, "Oh, what shall we say then to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us?" You know, remember that, brothers. He that spared not his own son, you see, it pleased Yahweh Shai. It pleased the Most High to bruise Yahweh Shai. You see, 
He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, shall he not with him also freely give us all things? You see, through how shall I sacrifice? So we have redemption. We have remission of sins, you know, because that's what weighs us down. Remember that. Yahweh Shai died for the, for us for this very moment. It says, Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High? As elect is the Most High that justifieth. You see? And this man's about to come down and try to persecute the remnant of Yahweh by Shema Shai. But it's the Most High that justifies. the Most High, Yahweh by Shema Shai, that is going to, uh, uh, that's going to, you know, get us out of this situation. That's going to, uh, you see, you know, justify us before the whole world for what some did not believe. It says, who is he that condemneth? Um, it says, who is he that condemneth? Is it not a Mashiach that died? Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of the Most High, who also maketh intercession for us, who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? For it as it is written, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So we're going to conquer this world in the spirit, you know, because our, our, our weapons are our warfare, not carnal, you know, through Yahweh Shai, you see, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angel, angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, you see, nothing's going to stop uh, the remnant of Yahweh Shema Shai from believing, you see, this man cannot steal our faith, you know, for it was a gift and it's in us. You see, this man can take everything away around us, you know, which these world, which that's what he's going to do. We have nothing in this world. All we have, which is in us, the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai. you see, nor death, nor height, nor any creature. You see, this man is a creature. He's not the creator. He is a creature. He's been created. The red man of the earth, the Edomite, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Amashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord. You know, so nothing, nothing in these times to come is going to be able to separate us from the from from Yahweh Shema Shai and his mercy and his love that he's uh, uh, that he's allotted to uh, uh, to pour out upon his remnant. You know, the whole full elect. Lord's willing to us on that. Fine with that. I'm gonna say shalom.